Hello. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. So, I just wanted to come and tell everyone that we need to be careful of... You know what? The Bible tells us, the Word of God tells us, be careful for nothing, but pray about everything. Pray that the Holy Spirit will give you discernment about the distractions that the enemy is trying to put in your way. Um, <clears throat> pray that the Holy Spirit will make your, your spirit sensitive to the distractions that the enemy puts in your way. One thing I want to say that God did bring to my attention through something I was listening to earlier. We are called, we all have a purpose in the body of Christ and we're called um, for such a time as this. And there's a work for God has us to do, God has for us to do. That's why he put us on this earth because this life is not our own. So our, our life is to be a living testimony here in the land of the living. That is to edify your brothers and sisters in Christ to keep pushing, to help them to understand that you're a living t testament as an ambassador for Christ, right? I'm saying all that to say that a lot of times we'll sit on YouTube or we'll have conversations with friends and family members and people and we can encourage them, right? And we can tell them what to do or give them advice on what to do or what the Holy Spirit tells us to tell them or the wisdom that is imparted to us to give to somebody else. But a lot of times, the struggle is for us to take our own advice or to take the advice that the Holy Spirit gives us. We end up trying to do things in our own strength. Meanwhile, we might be telling our brothers and sisters to lean on God. Not that we're intentionally trying to be hypocrites. But we have to follow the word that says, lean not unto our own understanding. And so when we're ministering, and you know how they say iron sharpens iron. We have to take our own advice and learn to walk in the way that we tell others also. Correct. But I'm saying all that to say, as I scroll here on YouTube and I look at the things that are being pushed before us, there's a lot of distractions. And if you have not starved your flesh here recently, coming out of 2023, recognizing that the Lord wants us to starve our flesh, because this is a spiritual battle, and a spiritual battle is very heavy right now. But the battle is also for your mind, your will, and your emotions, your soul. And so the distractions are endless and they will continue to be endless. We are distracted by mukbangs. We are distracted by hair videos. We are distracted by gossip. We are distracted by... Uh, even the second exodus and the solar eclipses and the migrant crisis and the this and the that. And every time you find yourself going on YouTube or Instagram, there's something that pops up that, that wants to keep you alert. But meanwhile, we're being alert. Are we taking the time to hear from God for ourselves? Because we still are required to study to show ourselves approved. The distraction is heavy. I'm here to tell you that as a living testimony. I'm experiencing the same thing that the rest of the body of Christ is experiencing. We're all experiencing this. So we have to begin to edify and lift up one another. You, you have to come on YouTube and talk about it. The truth will set you free. We can confess our sins to one another. The distraction and and, and, allow, and allowing our mind to be on the things of this world is a sin because it's taking away. 
And this is not to bring nobody under condemnation because this is what I'm struggling with. But it's taking away from the time that we really need to hear from God for ourselves. Because a lot of times, a lot of things that we that we're hearing, if we're spending time with God, it's not going to be a surprise to us. <clears throat> it's not going to be a surprise to us. The enemy is very subtle and he knows how weak he know he studies us and he knows what our weaknesses are. Those of us who love our family, we love our children, we love our spouses, and we're empathetic and we want to see people make it. A lot of time we get distracted with other people's issues and problems and they begin to weigh us down. And that's not what God intended for us. He is the source. Everything else is a resource. If God allows us to be a resource, we have to also direct the people to the source. You can help people, but you have to direct them to the source where your help comes from. And you have to make them understand if it wasn't for your source, you couldn't be a resource for them. And if they continue to look at you as a source... then God can make it be where you will not be a resource to them anymore. So, I'm saying all this to say, pray about everything. Pray without ceasing. Do pay attention to what's going on because that's what we should do. The signs of the times, absolutely, 10,000%. But when we spend time with God, none of these things are a surprise to us. It's just a confirmation to what we heard in our prayer closet or what the Holy Spirit spoke to us. So, <clears throat> this is just a quick message to share with the body of Christ. Let us pray for one another and pray that we not get pulled into these distractions because what's coming is so big and it's so huge and we need to be prepared spiritually we need to be prepared mentally and we definitely need to be prepared physically and that's something that God has been working on me on working with me on learning to change my diet learning to 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 build up my stamina one day at a time because I did not get where I'm at overnight. You know, I'm now 44 years old. My birthday was the 1st of March, was last Friday. And I turned 44. <clears throat> and so, you know, as we get older, the body changes. Especially after having seven children. And so, by the grace of God, you know, God is awesome. He gives us grace. But He, the Holy Spirit is working on me with changing my eating habits, realizing I can't eat certain things, pulling me away from the things of the world and eating how we were taught to eat in this world, um, living an unhealthy lifestyle, which will cause us to be sick and then have to deal with the witchcraft of the pharmacia, which is a whole nother ball game. But the great physician. Yeshua HaMashiach, he knows all things and he wants us to come in the truth of the life that he desires for us to have. So I just want to share that with y'all. It, it is time for us to, it's been time for us to buckle down fast and pray. Been time. But on another level of learning who you are in Christ. And because we on another level of this thing. This is a whole totally different dispensation of what we're about to go into. God definitely wants to prepare us for it. The only way we could be unprepared is not clocking in or coming to class. Meaning taking that time with God because he's waiting for us to be at his feet so we can learn, so he can speak into us. He can give us wisdom and give us direction of what to do and how to go about this thing and how to stand in what's to come. <clears throat> so I just wanted to share that with you guys. God bless you all. Um, may 
God continue to bless and keep you. Um, may he give you the direction that you need for such a time as this. But I pray that your families continue to be covered in Jesus' name. God bless.